Hello, my name is Mark Johnson. I'm the manager of the Energy Center at Duquesne University. At this Energy Center, we produce the uh, electric heating and cooling for the entire university. Uh, to produce the electric, we utilize a natural gas-fired gas turbine generator at the Solar Turbine Taurus 60S model of engine. We uh, capture the waste heat out of the uh, gas turbine engine, which is an aircraft derivative jet engine. We capture the exhaust into a heat recovery boiler, and we make steam for heating and cooling off of a byproduct of the gas turbine generator. Then, uh, coupled with that, we make cooling from electricity and steam. We have steam absorption chillers, we have electric centrifugal chillers, and we employ a 6,000 ton ice storage plant. We generate approximately 85% of the campus's electrical power, 100% um, of its heating and uh, cooling. We have plans to expand the energy center over the next five and 10 years expanding the auxiliary boilers, replacing them with new modern boilers, and tripling the size of our uh, steam heating capacity. We plan on expanding our chiller plant. Currently, the Living Learning Centers on the east side of campus, Victory Hall, St. Martin, St. Anne, Towers, they're actually cooled by a cooling unit in Vicroy Hall. Um, that is fed steam for, from the energy center to produce that cooling. We have plans of running our cooling system to pick up those residence hall, adding another chiller to the energy center, and expanding the central plant efficiencies, um, providing that cooling much more effective than has been done in, in the past. Um, as campus grows with uh, Brodier Hall, Power Center, uh, Deplaz, they've all been connected to the Energy Center as well. We always look at energy savings projects throughout campus. Deplaz has uh, solar powered panels. We currently have projects that were being looked at at Mellon Hall to recover the lab hood uh, diffuser exhaust through the roof into a heat recovery unit where we recover the air and recycle it back into the building. We are looking at the uh, pool at Duquesne Towers, and we're always looking at lighting and water conservation projects as, as we move forward in efforts to save energy and reduce energy here at Duquesne University.